Welcome to Sculpture Studios. Going back in time here, not only to the Aztec era, but also back in time to the early days at Sculpture Studios itself. I found this video footage buried and preserved in an Aztec dig site and resurrected the data, known by the ancients as a VHS, so you can see the process of an old, old project. This set was built for Cadbury's World in Bourneville up in Birmingham. The client allowed Sculpture Studios a bit of free reign and artistic license when it came to the design, only given basic measurements and a blocking out scheme to work from. When this project took place, it was kind of the pre-internet time, so all the research in relation to the look and feel had to be found out the old-fashioned way. Aidan went to the library and dug out all the books he could find on Aztec architecture and the Montezuma era. With these references from the books, a collaboration of stone brickwork and pattern designs began to form and were blocked out using polystyrene. A younger Aidan's going to talk you through some of the elements of the work and I'll fill in the gaps along the way. Here we have, I can't stand it up, it's a bit wet at the moment. The man which is seen from that view, the Aztec Temple for the court to put it in. Stands about two, it's two meters high. It's just been glass fibred, he's carved out of polystyrene and it's coated in Decadex paint. We have sections of wall, which is obviously like stood up on the on end. The people can stand on this end and look through the wall there. The, the same applies to these two pieces over, like over here. Like over these two. And these get assembled like a, like a Rubik's cube. They're quite simple, and then we just bolt them to the rest of the set. Here we have the tasting booth. Give me a, a notice sign on that window in the letter box just about there. And it's going to be. An open shutter in that space just there. This has just been coated in Santex. I've got a scenic painter like coming in on Monday to start work on that. Should look quite nice. That part of the middle would be painting up quite warm colours, reds and blacks. Moving on to the quartz cottle set. I have a stone here, the sunstone. A couple of faces there, just sticking their tongues out at each other. And we have the sundial has got each item is like a different symbol, a hand, an eagle, a bird. As it goes around the clock, you've got a symbol for every sign of the year. We modelled it up in clay, we took a piece mould in plaster and joined it together. We flipped it over and we pulled out the clay and now we're going to lay up in glass fibre. I think it will lend itself to the, the project quite well. Here you can see the trunk of a palm tree where the polystyrene is protected with the sticky back foil before glass fibre and resin is applied. This stops the resin from just burning through the material and melting the polystyrene away. Large leaves will be created separately to the tree and they'll be added later. Once everything's been given a layer of foil and glass fibre, it's then textured to resemble stone. Here Aidan's used in Tentex and Decadex paint, but nowadays we'd use a spray-on flexible concrete render. Just doing the final touches, the highlights. The very light ochre paint, just touching the tops. What's known in the tray to fine art as dry brushing. There's not many people who can do this. Not, not one of them. Okay, just before you start. Just touching the tops. Just bring it, just bring it out away from the picture. Any bit that I think just needs to be cheered up. I'll touch it. Right, here is the quartz cockle set. Along this front edge, give me a piece of hard, like hard wood, there and there, three sides. Along the back is a wall with a backdrop, as you see. The mirror there, the mirror there. These pieces here can be plants, and foliage all coming out all over the place. And the top covered with sand, there's only sand in it. It's mixed in with paint, so already got base colour. Uh, this isn't going to be here, it's going to be one of these up figures, but it's going to be standing about that tall. It's one of these just that high on its own, which you see earlier. This here, it's got a television screen in it. We left it quite hollow at the back, so you've got a monitor in the inside and then it can cut out the screen on the day uh, and make it good. So when the people come along they can just look at it and watch the video recording. Palm tree, 
Again, it's all going to be like laminated down, but once it's all set, we position. Leaves coming out the bottom, branches. Big long leaves, not paper. Bigger leaves that can be hanging across, looking quite little. Yeah, I think they're going to have to be green on the day, eh? Green on the day. <laughs> For the majority of the artwork, Aidan hired scenic artist Duncan Bayliss. Duncan's worked with Sculpture Studios many times in the past and is fantastic at creating depth and a real theatrical finish effect. He's worked with us on projects like the Eddie Scribe for the Iron Maiden live tour and projects like the Snakes for Chessington World of Adventures. Not only does his work look great from a distance, but the detail ensures it looks just as lifelike from up close. Duncan often uses a splash brush technique to get that gravel and mottled look within the stone. Here you can see how light each section of the wall is, in comparison to how heavy one might imagine it to be, as it looks like stone. Columns are made in two halves, so they can just be cleared around the, the centre support of wood, which the chippies are providing. And then all we've got to do is make up two seams good. It's always nice to work on a project for an entire set like this, rather than just a few bits and pieces, as it generally works out better for us and better for the client. We're provided with a nice large job, granted it has its own challenges, but there's lots of carving work involved, and the client gets the continuity of one complete set. It's created in one style by one company, at the same high standard all round. Things would have undoubtedly looked different if the client had outsourced a load to different companies where areas of the set might have looked mismatched and disjointed. Here you can see the Aztec calendar, now finished and painted, to stand out amongst the rest of the stone. It's artwork to look vibrant, but at the same time, it's supposed to look dishevelled and broken down with age. The set is kept in manageable sized pieces and is transported to site. Once there it's then assembled, and here you can see it in situ, accompanied by the backdrops on the wall and the lights above. After our set is installed, the figures created by H&H &H sculptors are put in place, and to finish and bring the whole set to life, smells and sounds are added to the atmosphere. We'd like to thank Cadbury's for coming to us with the project, and hope the set is still being used somewhere today. Please feel free to leave any comments below, as they're always appreciated, and hit the subscribe button for our latest videos. You can like Sculpture Studios on Facebook, and for more of our work, visit sculpturestudios.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching.